Okay, hey guys, welcome to my channel and today we're just going to do a basic um, just basic summer glam, you know, everyday look just to look nice, cover all the things. I have also everything already ready and set up, so let's start. So I'm, I'm just going to go with this uh, Niva Men, uh, sorry, sensitive post shave balm. I love it. It's great. It's really hydrating. It's cool and it's keeping my makeup always um, just on point. So I just love it. It's just a little bit, not a lot. Then just going in. And just nice rub it and work it into the skin. So we'll have a wonderful finish. Okay, so with next, um, I love to use this MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. Uh, it's looking like this. It got a little bit like a um, um, shine to it. I just love it. I'm taking two pumps, one, two, on the hand. And I like to go in with this foundation brush and just bump and and also work it nicely to the skin. Remember always the secret for a nice foundation finish and so everything will be in place. It's always a good hydration for your skin. Because we don't want a cakey face, we don't want any patches. So, yeah. I also go with this down the neck. And when you're done with this, the next thing I love to do um, is go with this NYX eyeshadow base. It's looking like this. It's so uh, white, almost like a paste, I would say it. It's just fingertip and I just would like to go on the lid and work it all in. Like, don't worry about it if you go overboard and you go like I just did <laughs> on the nose. It's just, it's gonna all dissolve. So, okay, looking crazy, but that's okay. So the next thing I like to do Let's go with this Bobbi Brown Stick Retouch Visage. Uh, it looks like basic like a stick and you're taking it out and yeah. And I just like to use it on the spots that I have, oh, for example, like here. Let me grab a mirror, it will be much easier for me. So I'm just look, going here. I'm just looking into my mirror, so I will see everything. <laughs> so don't worry if I'm like looking somewhere else, but not in the camera. Mm, yeah. See, that's the problem if you're a teenager. You have like so many spots that you want to cover, so your makeup will just look flawlessly. Okay, I'm looking crazy, but like I said, it's all going to be. Well, now I'm going with this Real Techniques uh, Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna Okay, so when we're ready with blending it in going with this um, Giorgio Mani Maestro Eraser Dark Circle Concealer Concealer, oh my god, what's wrong with me today? <laughs> And jazz. It's a little bit pink for me, but we're going um, to go with the foundation over it, so it's like perfect. It's going. I'm doing like always two, three drops under the eyes. Basically, ah, like this. Too much. Okay, whatever. Oh. And then back with that beauty blender and just 
Okay, so like you see, my dark circles have come out, have, are kind of uh, like gone. I mean, yeah, I love it. Okay, so now it's time for our foundation. Um, I'm using the Mac Studio Scope SPF 15 foundation. Uh, in the shade NC20 love this foundation it's really hydrating for um, all my girls with dry skin like me it's 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 great it's not really liquidy it's more it's on a base of BB cream but it's uh, of course really um, high coverage so you get like about you know hydration and full coverage. Oh. So I'm just going in the foundation and just take it on the beauty wonder and there's some spots and just bounce it into the skin in a minute. Okay, so when we got on the face, get into blending. It's like you see right now, it's not like really um, full coverage like full full coverage it's more on the medium to full coverage side but the thing I love about it is that it's buildable buildable oh my god it's buildable so you basically can put layer on layer on the layer and it won't look that cakey I'm just going into this hairline so everything is I don't know if this like this camera is doing this but I look like all really red but I actually I'm not so I'll just like avoid the fact that I'm looking so red tent. I just needed to open the window. This is getting like really hot in here. You know, it's me. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'm just going to get a little bit more because, like, I see, so see, pause. Like I said, you need to build the foundation if you want. Um, yeah. If you're a full coverage kind of girl like me, then you want full coverage. Full coverage. So now uh, I'm going to go with this just a foundation, uh, foundation brush, with a powder brush, and um, I'm just going to go in my. Okay, sorry. Mm. Yeah, this Bobbi Brown Skin Whiteless Powder Foundation in the color Warm Beige 3.5. It's yeah, <laughs> it's used. It, yeah, I already hit the palette, so you know, don't worry about it. I'm just good. Oh, okay. Did you did you just sound this fall out? Okay, and I'm just going to go in this to set my foundation and like basically for more coverage. It looks really good. We're getting into and getting <laughs> I'm gonna use this NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. Um, everybody know it, and everybody's using it. So no, I'm not gonna be worst. I'm gonna use it then. So I already have it a pretty. I'm so sorry. A pretty long time. Um, like you use, see, it's a little bit dirty, but I'm still gonna use it because I don't have other palettes. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'm think I'm um, going to go. Hmm, good question. I'm going to go with this brown over here. Just one, two, because they are hot, really high pigment. So, and. I'm, we're going to start here at the hairline and drag it out. You see how the color is coming? Like, 
Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. And then go here with the hairline and go to the forehead. Different, looks so different. And also here to give me nice okay I'm going back with the shade just one two eat the pot no fall out <laughs> and again start with the hairline and go down oh fuck um okay I'm going back in the shade I'm going to do the nose contouring Oh, I read it. If you know the struggle, <sighs> like the struggle is real, like surreal. Okay, I'm going back with this powder brush and uh, take my Bobby Brown powder and just soften out the harsh lines we don't want the face to look so powdery so I'll just go with the fix uh, MAC Pre Prep and Prime Fix Plus and just so it won't look so oh sorry it won't look so powdery okay I guess we're going to go with my brows my brows um, I'm going to use the K Brow uh, by Benefit in the shade 3. It's a cream gel brow color with a brush. <laughs> Everybody knows it. And uh, number 3. Okay, so what I basically do when I um, fill them in and give them some shape. Um, I love to go with the Steam Brow Mascara by NYX in the shade Blonde. So it's, do you see it? It's shade 1. I don't know, it's the lightest one. I'm not kind of sure. I bought it like a year ago. But okay, mm, now. I'm taking this small brush and I'm taking the Giorgio Armani Moisture Erase Dark Circle Concealer again, putting some on my hand. One, two, three, and um them up. Okay. So now I love to go with NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. It's a translucent white powder. Oh my god, it's a lot. and take it under my eyes under my lines so okay and to make the contour even more severe and look even more Snatch for the goddess. Okay. And also here on the chin. Like I said, on the small lines. And under the nose. Maybe here on the sides. Okay. And the rest that I had have on my forehead and on the middle of my nose too. 
And while this other thing is setting in place, we're going to continue. So I'm going to go with this NYX Full Throttle palette. And this is the second palette in the shade Explicit. It looks like this, really nice colors. I love for the pack packaging, like look at this, I love it. And it's basically like four colors, but um, I love this one, it's really nice. Okay, and now, because we have like this wide um, set, all the other colors would blend really nicely. Because powder on powder, it blends really perfectly. So now I'm going to go in, oh my god, I have so many stuff, like, excuse me. Um, but life, like, I have makeup all over my knees, over here, around me, like, you don't even see it. So I'm going to go with this Makeup Revolution Makeup Palette. Um, the name is Fortune Favors the Brave. I guess that's the name, that's what it says. So, um, oh, it's got a mirror. <laughs> I mean, I have it already like a time, but I just forgot it. And um, it has so many beautiful colors, like just going to go with this really fluffy angled brush and um, hmm, I mean like nice bronzy look like everybody loves for it in summer so we will go in this um, I'm going to go with this I'm sorry with this color first and just get it into the crease like here or exactly here okay um now we're going i'm so sorry we're going to go with this color and put it in the same place that we just put this really warm brown okay and Till now you should have like something like this. Um, now what I really like to do is take this detailed brush, it's also pretty fluffy, and go in this shade, oh, oh I'm so sorry, in this shade and just one, two, and go really here and again in this really dark Mocha brown and again do it on the other eye. You can also take back this brush and I blend it even nicely. And now we should something like this. So now I'm going with black brush like this. It's also really fluffy. And I'm going with this yellow here and try to make a really nice. Cut grease. So it's basically I'm cleaning everything. Now I'm um, going to go with brush, and I have a wonderful. I have to hit the pot in this one, honey. Okay, it's. Oh, I don't see anything. It's cream color base in the shade. Pearl. Gonna take the brush, the brush, go in there. Nice, take a lot of product. And now that we did this cut quick with them, this yellow eyeshadow, we're going with this and gonna even emphasize the cut crease. No, I should have something like this. So now, to um, just finish the look, uh, I'm going with this small brush, it's also really fluffy, and um, I'm going to go in this 
and in this color and go under the eye. Well, basically what I did then, I used the MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in the shade AC5 and then um, I used a highlighter from the NYX palette and then I finished my makeup with the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and excuse me that I'll get like at the end so yeah messy. <laughs> but thank you once again for watching and see you till the next one.